Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another lesson on VBA in Excel 2016. So, so far you have probably seen that we have created two buttons. The first button clears the marks in our exam result calculator. So if I click that, it clears the marks. If I click the second button, copy and paste marks it copies the results to another section but you can still see these moving dots around here which we need to get rid of by pressing escape which is not ideal but to fix that i need to teach you guys something else and that is the properties of objects so let's go back to the code by pressing alt f11 so we currently have two subroutines. The first one clears the marks and the second one copies and pastes the marks. So I'm now going to create a third subroutine to show you guys um, the properties of objects and how they can be edited. So if we have a look at this object, range c7 to c9 the range object by clearing it what i have done in the past is i've selected it and i have cleared the contents but instead of doing that i can simply edit the property of this object so what are properties well after the dot operator you can see that some a context menu comes up with a list of things you can type after the dot. The green things are methods which we have learnt already. So things like cutting, pasting, um, clearing contents, they are all methods. But these things are called properties. And properties are things that we can set the value of. So we can simply set the value of these cells to equal a certain number. So if I just put in here dot value equals zero, what's going to happen is the contents of these cells will become zero. So let's see if that works. Save and let's go back to the code and run it. You can see they are all zero now. Now, why is the average still 27? Because there are some marks here. So let's get rid of that. So if I clear these marks, they're now zero. But if I put in some more marks, clear them. So that is what the meaning of properties are. Properties are simply um, things about the object that you can set a value for instead of a method so previously we learned this syntax object dot method which is the same as this line here we got an object and we have the method here but in this case we have object dot property equals a certain value so an object is the range object its property the property name is the value and we're setting the value to zero so let's now look at some other possibilities so i can also set a single cell's value to something so let's just set the value of c7 to um in a so let's try that notice how i put quotation marks around it because it's not a number if it if what the value that you're setting does not contain a number sorry contains text then you need to put quotation marks so let's now close this Control s and get back to our spreadsheet and if i click clear marks you can see NA comes up in this cell. So let's now try and make it all equal to zero. 
so that's what we want and then what I want to do is I want to now use this dot value um, method to help us copy and paste easier so instead of selecting and copying and then selecting and pasting what I'm gonna do is just change this to range C13 to uh, C15 dot value so I'm gonna set the value of the cells between C13 to C15 to the value of cells in range C7 to C9 okay so this gets rid of the need to select and copy and paste so this code is for copying and pasting values in cells so make the value for the cell C13 to C15 equal to the value of cells in C7 to C9 so if I save this go back and now let's put in some marks okay I have this one that clears it oh what's going on it's not clearing it anymore let's go back to edit the code oh it's only C7 so it's C7 to C9 control S okay so let's try that again if I put a hundred clear the marks copy and paste the marks it's uh, copy and paste the marks down here and that's it for this lesson so next lesson I'll show you guys some more numerical operations you can conduct in VBA thanks for watching guys see you next time